about a month and a half away or so from the start of congestion pricing, but many groups still fighting to make sure that does not happen. Later this morning, a judge will hear some arguments in several New York based lawsuits against this controversial plan. I would assume reporter Phil Tate live in lower Manhattan with the details. Phil. Yeah, Mike, as congestion pricing is less than 50 days away, a federal judge will hear the argument over the controversial congestion pricing plan. Now, we know that four suits have been filed here in New York, and the judge will hear all of these suits together. Now, this is a last-ditch effort to really pump the brakes to this plan set to go into effect on June 30th. Now, these lawsuits include one filed by New Yorkers against congestion pricing tax, UFT President Michael Mulgrew, and Staten Island, Pre Staten Island BP Vito Facello, as well as another by a group of city residents. Well, they are all aimed at stopping the new $15 toll for cars driving into the heart of Manhattan, just south of 60th Street. Now, we saw a similar scene of arguments back in April over in New Jersey as a federal judge heard an outcry against the pricing plan with a separate lawsuit filed by New Jersey officials, including Governor Murphy. Now, he is expected to rule by early June. Yesterday, Jano Lieber commented as everyone still isn't on board with the new tolling plan. What we see is that change is hard and that when you're doing something big that has impact on people's lives and requires some change, um, there will be there will be discussion, there will be controversy. An MTA will attend this morning's hearings. It's still unclear if Jana Lieber will be here due to scheduling conflicts, but we do know that supporters of this lawsuit are expected to arrive around 8 a.m. and we expect this hearing to get underway just an hour later. We're in Lower Manhattan this morning. I'm Phil Tate, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.